Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to rename a Proxmox node with existing containers and VMs. So are you ready? Let's get started. First thing first I have to note here that Proxmox advises actually to do this action in an empty node and this node should not be part of a cluster okay but here we have a standalone node that contains some uh, containers and uh, VMs and we're gonna actually rename it to something else so here for my example here for my uh, Proxmox node it is called PVE for Proxmox virtual environment so I'm gonna change it for example to something else so I'm gonna change its name for example to Proxmox 01 because later I will be create another node called Proxmox02, okay? So the first step that you actually must do is to stop all the VMs and containers in your Proxmox node. So here I have uh, just some uh, VMs and uh, containers. So first thing, as I told you, I will stop them. So I will just right click on the VM or uh, container that is started and I will stop it. So I will confirm here by yes. So the first container is stopping. So I will go to the second uh, VM here. I will also stop it. Yes. So you can see my first container has been stopped. All I have to do is actually to stop the last uh, VM which is a PyHall machine so I will stop it here we go so now that all our containers and VMs are stopped we can proceed with the next step so the next step actually is to rename uh, the Proxmox node name into some files okay so the first file that we have actually to rename is the slash etc slash hosts file so for that you go to the shell or you can connect to your proxmox node via actually ssh and you can perform these commands so as i told you the first uh, actually file that you have to change is slash etc slash hosts so if we take a look at it you can see here that they have a pv which is my proxmox node name so i must change it okay so for that you can use whatever editor you want so i will use the default one which is nano here here we go so all i have to do is to change this pve name to the name that i want to actually put for my proxmox so i will just call it prox proxmox01 for example so you have to change every occurrence of your proxmox node okay so i have also to change this one proxmox01 okay so i guess i'm done with this file here so i'll just exit yes here we go so let's verify here we go we have changed its name also another important file that we have to change is the etc host name host name here we go so let's see what is inside so actually it contains just the pve node name so let's change that to the new host or to the new host name for the proxmox so i will just rename it also proxmox01 so i'm done here and also you can change a uh, file related to actually a uh, mail server which is called postfix postfix main.ctf okay so let's take a look at that and you can see I have also my hostname equal to PVE so I have to change that 
So let's open it with an editor. Here we go. So all I have to do is to change this name here, PVE, to Proxmox01. So let's take a look at the other lines. There is no sign of a host name here. Here we go. So I'm done. I will exit. Yes. Okay. So now I'm done with editing the files. And so we have also to rename uh, the host name. So we'll execute another command. Host name CTL set host name. And here I will input my new uh, name for the node. Okay which is Proxmox01, okay? So after that, we can execute uh, a couple of commands to restart some very important services, okay? So the first service that we have to restart is the actually the PVE proxy, okay? So the connection has been lost, but it restored. And after that, you can see that uh, the new name for our node has appeared here in our GUI, okay? So you can see here I had I have a connection failed error that's why I advise you to do the commands via actually SSH client. So let's use our SSH client and continue the process. So I will open here our SSH client. I will connect to my uh, Proxmox. Okay. Here we go. I'm in. So we have restarted the PVE proxy. We have also to restart uh, the PVE daemon, okay? So for that, I will execute this command here, PVE daemon, restart system L. So I'm done with the restarting services, okay? So then I can proceed with the next step. So the next step is actually to back up all the config files. So if I list the content of this directory here, slash etc slash pve slash not, you can see that I have here the name of our new node and the old one. But I'm interested here to actually back up this old config. So if I go to the old node name you can see that I have here a bunch of files and folders but the most important one for our containers is LXC folder which contains all actually our containers and the other one QEMU server contains all our VMs okay but me I have actually to back up all the thing here all the config and also the VMs so for that, I will use the command copy in order to copy them to another directory, okay? So let's copy all what is inside this PVE directory to the slash root slash old config, just as a backup if something goes wrong. So let's verify now the root old config So you can see that I have copied everything, all the config inside this directory as a backup, okay? So now we can actually move all our containers to the new node, okay? So for that, I will use the move command. So to move all your containers, you execute this move command. So the PVE here is the actually the name for our uh, old uh, node name and the Proxmox01 is the name for our new node. So I will move all the config files. I will do the same for uh, actually VMs or virtual machines. 
So the location is different is the QEMU server. Okay. And here we have to change it also. QEMU server. Okay, so let's execute this command. So we are done now. Okay, so we have moved everything to the new node here. So as you can see, it has disappeared from our GUI also. Now we can actually get rid of this uh, actually old uh, node. Okay, so I will execute this command to remove minus R for recursive. And I will delete everything what is inside this PVE, which is our old node name. Here we go. So I guess now everything is done. All we have to do now is to reboot our machine in order to see if we get everything is working. So let's execute the reboot command and wait for our uh, server to be up. So of course the connection will be lost. So we will wait for the server to be restarted and we will take a look once again to our GUI. Okay now so let's refresh our GUI here and see what we get. So let's proceed. Okay, so I guess now everything is okay. So we have all our VMs and containers. So let's start uh, our, for example, our uh, pie hole here. So as you can see here, I get an error. Storage, storage is not available on node uh, something. Okay. So storage is not available on node Proxmox 01. So here I cannot start actually the containers or the VMs. So for that, we're gonna go to the shell. Okay, and uh, let's take a look at this file here, storage.cfg, okay. So here you can see that it's still referencing actually the old host name. So here nodes is equal to P PVE, so we have to change that to actually uh, the new host name. So let's open it using an editor. Here we go. And let's change that to the name of our new node, which is Proxmox01. So let's exit that. Yes. So let's try to actually restart our PyHole server. So as you can see now, I don't get any error and the PyHole server is actually up. So if I click on it, you can see that is here, it's running. Here we go. So our machine is actually booting. So everything is okay. Everything is working as you can see here. Okay. And they get the login actually. So as you can see, it was not difficult to actually uh, rename Proxmox with existing containers and VMs. So that was just a brief uh, video to show you how to rename uh, Proxmox node with existing containers and VMs. 
as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye